Welcome to Maxability. To unfold different layers of knowledge, stay tuned with us till the end of the video. Hello everyone. Welcome to Maxability. Recently few of my friends have asked me to explain how to use an Apple Mac using VoiceOver. I thought it is better to do some videos and tutorials to explain how to use voiceover on a mac computer this is part of the series and this is the first lesson in this lesson i want to explain the keyboard layout on a mac computer and how to turn voiceover on and off let's get started in general the keyboard layout on a mac is almost same as the keyboard on a windows computers yes the top row will have the escape key on the top left and followed by the function keys from f1 to f12 in the second line you will see the tilde and the numbers from 1 to 0 the third line from the top on the left extreme is the tab key followed by q w e r t y u i o p the next line is the left extreme is the caps lock with a s d f g h and so on and so forth the next line on the extreme left is your tab key and followed by z x c v b and so on the bottom line is where you see some difference in the mac computer the windows key is part of the windows operating system and you will see on most windows computers and obviously you don't observe that on a mac computer similarly the alt key is also not part of the mac computers the windows and alt keys on a mac are replaced by option and command keys so the bottom line will have the following keys function key control option command space bar command key again and the option key sometimes the function key and control key may be interchanged in certain layouts but the computer i am using have i am repeating the keys on the bottom line function key control option command space command and option like your windows and alt key on the either side of the space bar you will see option and command on either side of the space bar so this is the fundamental layout of a mac computer now let us see how to turn voice over on and off i know three different ways to turn voice over on and off they are option 1 this command is command f5 function key 5 holding the command key sometimes you may have to use function key in order to fire up the f5 so it will be function key plus command plus f5 if you have to turn off voice over with the same keys with f5 twice function key plus command plus f5 twice or command plus f5 twice option 2 is to use command plus fingerprint key three times press the fingerprint key three times holding the command key the fingerprint key in general is on the top line on the extreme right on the extreme left you see the escape key on the extreme right is where you see the function fingerprint key command plus press the fingerprint key three times that is how you can turn on voice over or you can turn off voice over the third option is using siri siri usually is just adjacent the siri button is just adjacent to the 
fingerprint key on the top line. So try to locate the extreme right top button, which is the fingerprint, fingerprint key and just touch your finger a little onto your left. You will find the Siri button. So if, as soon as you tap, if it is a touchpad, um, the touch bar, when you touch, it will fire up Siri and you may see, uh, you may hear a little sound of Siri firing up and you can say, turn on voiceover and it will turn on voiceover. And when you have to turn off voiceover with Siri, you have to double tap the Siri button when you hear it. Siri button. Then you have to double tap on Siri and say, turn off voiceover and it will do the rest. Let us continue the next lesson with some more commands. Thank you for watching and like and subscribe to let me know that you like this video and I'll continue the next series. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching and being with us. Please like and share the video. Don't forget to click on the bell icon and also for more updates, subscribe the channel.